Hi there, my name's John. I write and record music from home. Um, I just want to do a quick update on the previous video that I made about Stephen Slate free drums, and I want to show you how you can add your own MIDI files into the Groove Library. The first thing I'm going to do is show you where to find the Groove Library. If you open up Stephen Slate drums, you'll see on the menu down the side something marked Settings. If you go to Settings, you can then see at the top where it says Select Base Directory. That's where your library is located at this moment. If you navigate to that in Explorer or whatever you use, uh, the loops that you add um, will only show up correctly if the folders are in the right structure. So I'm just going to give you an example of that. OK, so this is what the structure of the library should look like. You'll see there's the overall grooves folder to start with, which is this one. And then we need to add a folder which ends in a .lib extension. The .lib folders are like the overall folder, so they would be like the description of the collection. So it could be John Zeely's amazing MIDI files or rock, pop, jazz, funk. And then in the .lib folders, we create a .sng folder, which in turn will contain your part folders, .prt. So this will be things like intro, verse, chorus. Now you'll see I've named these, but the reality is they're going to appear in the wrong order because they'll be arranged alphabetically. So we probably need to renumber those titles. It's much more logical to have them in the structure of intro, verse, bridge, chorus. Okay, let's do the real thing. Right, so here we are inside the Grooves library. I need to create a new library in there with these files that I've created down here. So I'm just going to do one of them. So let's do the disco folder, I think. So I'm going to call the overall name of the library. Uh, what should we call it? ZD files. How utterly exciting that is. Right, OK. So. But it needs to have a .lib extension, otherwise that's not going to work. But there you go. Got that. So as you can see, the next one needs to be an SNG extension. So let's call it disco.sng. Inside that folder, we need to create the parts. PRT extension. So intro.prt. Can I copy that? Speed things up a little bit. Verse. And we do chorus. Now, the problem is that they're not in the correct order. I want my intro to be first. So if I rename it with a zero one in the front, and then the verse, give that a zero two, that's how I want them to appear in the plugin library. Great. Now we just copy these in. We're just going to assume that that's the, there's the verse. And that's the chorus. And now we can see how it appears in the Groove library of the Slate plugin. Right, we need to insert a copy of Stephen's Slate Drums free version. But this will work with the full version too, as far as I understand. Right, OK, so we need to load a drum kit. See that loading? And if we go to the Grooves menu, you'll see, in addition to the ones that come with it, we've now got this folder that we've created with our little separate drum loops in their own little separate folders. So we can preview that. Let's drag them all out just as a final example. There we go. And that's it. There are lots of places around the internet where you can acquire free and paid for drum loops. A site that I highly recommend is a site called Odd Grooves. I've got nothing to do with these guys other than that I won a competition and won a whole bunch of their libraries, which I've just found amazing. What's great about them is they've, they feel very human. A lot of their libraries come Stephen Slate friendly, and there's also lots and lots of little free tasters on their site. So you can get a fair amount of drums for nothing from those guys. It's it's really great. Um, yeah, I totally recommend check it out. That's all from me. Give us a thumbs up and a follow if you found this video useful. Stay well, um, and I'll see you soon.